hey guys how's everybody doing welcome back to my channel if the first time you're coming across any kind of my video i want to say thank you so much yes i found myself here yes well i think i love this stuff i don't know what it is the seat and it has this coverage which i think is good okay guys let's talk about something new today if today is the first time you're seeing any kind of my video i want to say a huge thank you thanks so much for joining the huge family then for those of you that have been here you've been seeing my video i want to also appreciate you guys i want to say thank you for watching my videos it is with a good and great pleasure that you all have to come here and watch my videos so i want to say a huge thank you the family is growing first and foremost before i say anything subscribe to my channel click on the notification button so each time i drop any kind of video you get to be among the first person that sees it okay so guys there is a lot of information like a lot i don't even know where to start from right now but let's start from something i want to talk about um lutuini admission for this 2023 i if you're trying to apply for admission and especially lithuania and you don't have your admissions now you don't even know the school you want you've not decided on the course you want you are halfway late because from next month you are actually meant to be applying for your visas against september okay yes some schools are still open because i know that some of you are going to be reaching out to me to find out if some schools are open absolutely some schools are still open so in this video i want to discuss about lutheran admission for 2023 and some of the questions you guys have been asking to use this opportunity to address them one of them is like why lutheran between is a very good place in the sense that it's part of the 27 schengen countries it enables you to be able to move around other Schengen countries in terms of mobility, right? Which is to say that if you're studying in Lithuania, you can be able to move around to Poland, Czech Republic, Germany, Italy, France, Spain, name them. Anywhere you want to go to Croatia, which just joined, you can be able to just move around there. It helps when it comes to mobility, okay? You can be able to travel around, you can be able to go for Erasmus program, six months is another Schengen country. You can be able to do other things you want to do. Business-wise, you can be able to network as well okay and Lutheran is a very how do i say calm place to study and it's also good for those of you that really want to study and work because there are jobs that allow you to be able to work for like 40 hours per week so tell me why don't you want to come and they have like amazing and conducive environments to study that's what everybody's looking out for right so that is why i'm bringing this video your way so that is why lithuania where you should come here to come and study i myself i graduated from the this country like in Lithuania I studied my masters here so so far so good is a good place yeah for you to come and study if you really want to and another thing our university is still open I know some of you will be asking some of the universities are open for those of you coming from Nigeria which are not within the Schengen or European zone is like halfway late right now because you are meant to be having like your admissions already or by now you should be ready if not halfway like you should be within you processing your documentations now but are universities still are accepting applications the answer is 100 percent yes universities are still applying up uh, accepting up application but you can be able to meet up if you are able to go through the stress i don't understand a lot of people are complaining about appointment guys see again that they changed in lithuania which is a new one i saw it on the news uh on the immigration portal which is going to be beneath on the comment section of this video in Lithuania before when you apply for resident permit for example if i go to Kaunas to apply for resident permit after my resident permit is out in Kaunas i will have to go back to Kaunas to pick up that resident permit now it's no longer like that if i apply in, uh, in Kaunas um why i'm applying in my migris portal they are going to ask you a question where do you want to pick up this resident permit so you can be able to choose the nearest immigration office close to your house to pick up this resident permit which i think is a very good thing because now there's no more stress you can only stress to submit but after submission be rest assured that you can be able to pick it up from your home or any immigration office that is very close to you so guys that being established i really want to check few universities 
there are still open for this session because most of you have already asked me and i do know that you want to apply even if i've already told you that okay it's a bit late but there's so many things i can't control i don't know why you're applying now i don't know what the situation is but i'm just going to explain to you universities that are open yeah like i said let's talk about universities that are open and universities that are still accepting applications though most of them are going to be closing like this June and um, you just have to apply if you haven't applied I'm going to be giving you guys the list of these universities that are open at the moment then you can be able to check them out at your leisure or for those of you that really want to dive in right now you can be able to check them out and you place in your application Clapida University is one of them Clapida University is very good the Titus Magnus University programs is still available for those of you that want to check out with Titus Magnus University. Lithuania Business College is still admitting students. Uh, Kaunas College is admitting students. Lithuania University of Health Sciences is admitting students. Guys, bear in mind that this video I'm making is not specifically for people in Nigeria. Because sometimes when I post a video, and most of you from Nigeria see the video, you'll be like, ah, you already talked about it, but the thing is, admission is over, there is nothing we can do. I am not just like specifically referring to a particular, how do I say, a particular race or particular people. So like, I'm talking to everyone in general that comes across my video. So should in case it's already closed from your end or your country, you can't fit in anymore. You should also know that there are other people that are watching this video. They are not from where you're from. So Venice University is still um, accepting students. You can check them out. Kaunas University of Technology is accepting students. Venice College of Technology and Design as well is accepting student Kaunas Forestry and Environmental Engineering University of Applied Science is accepting student SMK is at the heart of Venus is accepting student as well Lithuania Sports University is accepting student Venus College Venus University of Applied Science Vico is accepting student and also I've already talked about Vitaitis Magnus University which was where I graduated from they are accepting students and ism is at the heart of the city old town they are accepting students mru known as uh, Nicholas romero university they are accepting students why we can be told like very, very difficult for me to mention that university because this is not something we are used to we need to twist our tongues to make sure that we pronounce it correctly they are accepting students International School of Law and Businesses, which I don't think this school is still in existence. I don't know, but we can actually check to make sure that we know what we're saying. But we can just skip that university, it's not a problem. I don't know if they're accepting, if they are still accepting students as we speak. But I do know that Venus Business College is still accepting students as well. Then, um, Venus Gidiminas Technical University. This is like one of my best universities in Lithuania. They are accepting students, so in case you want to apply, yes, go for it. So guys, this is a few I can mention. There are a lot of them, they are still accepting student admissions are open. You can go for it if you want to go for it. Applying to Lithuania universities or the Baltics or the European or the Schengen universities is not difficult. You have to go to Dream Apply for you to put in your application by yourself. Also, you have to be careful. You have to check out for some factors. This factor is age factor. I've talked about it candidly on my videos. Lithuania does not accept some, most of the universities, they are very careful when it comes to age. So they prefer from 18 to 24, thereabouts, or 25. Some school 24. Some school are checking the study gap. When did you leave? The, uh, when did you stop studying? When was the last time you went to school? They are checking it. Some courses or some, yeah, some dean in, that, in those faculties. They don't want students to have like lengthy study gap. Why some university they don't want you if your age is like above 26? So you have to check out for those ones that have age factor. You have to check out for those ones that have study factor if you're doing it yourself. And secondly, some schools are asking for post-sec. 
post-sec means post-secondary for example those of you that have hnd some schools are going to be accepting your hnd for bachelors the reason is because in lithuania hnd is not accepted i've said it like countless times a lot of people asked me hnd is not accepted in lithuania and apart from that dependents are not allowed when you're coming for studies most of you have asked me these questions i think i'm answering them now if you want to come and study you are not going to be coming with dependent because it's not allowed for you to come with your dependent if you're coming to study as a bachelor student as a master's student as well they are not giving you a visa that will cover the entire family you are you can only come individually but when you are here as a master's student you can be able to invite your family over there is a room for that but before you come of course you invite your family there are like specific criteria in terms of the apartment where they're going to stay proof of fun if you have all the money it takes to take care of your family to take care of them when they're in Lithuania so these are the things they need to look out for but for HND is not accepted like I said they can only accept it for you to go for the bachelor's program but it is not accepted for you to go for the master's program. So should in case you're coming with HND and you want to study master's, it might not be possible. It's not going to be possible because it is not internationally rec recognized. So universities are usually like very skeptical because they don't understand the kind of certification you are bringing to them. So they're just going to tell you that, okay, they are not accepting it. But if you want to use it as a bachelor, if you want to use it for bachelor instead, they can accept it. But here is the tricky thing. If you're coming with your HND to study bachelor, how old are you? You understand? So if your age is beyond like a certain level, it becomes a problem because they are going to say you are more than the age they are looking for. So those are the factors you should check out for. Look out for the age, look out for the study gap, look out for the kind of certification they are looking for. And apart from that, tuition fee is another thing. Feel free to reach out to me there. I'm going to answer all your questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.